what's up? I'm wonderful. Good morning to everyone. So today I'm going to cover one of the most important and famous topics. And today I'm going to cover the topic how you can monitor your Jenkins job along with the other activities that perform on Jenkins node. Guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can keep track record of all those activities that you are performing on the Jenkins node. Guys, as we know that Jenkins is one of the key tool for the production's delivery. If it gets fixed, then definitely your deployment will get impact and that's how that your entire production's delivery may get impacted by this, right? So in such a way, we must enable health check for our Jenkins. We must keep health check record of our Jenkins node. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can achieve all these things, how you can enable the health check of your Jenkins using the help of Prometheus and Grafana. Guys, as we know that the Prometheus is a alert alerting toolkit and Grafana gives us the GUI visualizations of the matrix. So in this tutorial, we are going to see that how we can integrate the Jenkins with the Prometheus and Grafana so that we can keep the health check record of our Jenkins node. Hello guys, my name is Abhinash and you're watching the learning destinations. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Okay guys, now let's understand our today's agenda and in the first sections, I'm going to give you a just brief on that how actually the uh, the Prometheus matrix pulls the data from the Jenkins and how it is publishing to Grafana. In the secondly, what are the uh, plugins that is required in order to install the Prometheus on the Jenkins? Third point, we will see that what are the configurations needed from the uh, Jenkins point of view for the Prometheus. Fourth number, we will see that how the Jenkins matrix is looking like through the uh, Prometheus plugins. Finally, we will see that integrate Jenkins matrix to Prometheus server. Then we will run the query and check that whether we are getting the appropriate result. It means it is fetching the data from Prometheus server or not. And finally, under the verifications and testing sections, we will finally see the Jenkins matrix into the graph now. That all we are going to cover practically now. Okay guys, so under the practical sessions, now I'm going to show you firstly that uh, what are the plugins that is required in order to install the Prometheus server on Jenkins. So I'm going to log in inside my Jenkins node as of now. My Jenkins node is running on 109 and this is my password which I have already set. And after that you need to go to manage Jenkins. Then you need to go to manage plugins. And under the plugin, since I have already installed, so I'm going to show you the plugin call name is Prometheus. Prometheus. And here you can see that I have already installed these plugins. Prometheus Matrix plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install, right? So after installing this plugin, then let me show you one more thing. So you will get these options under the configuration systems. Let me go here. And you come down and you will find the options of Prometheus here. Okay, so by default, the it published the matrix on the Prometheus. The path is Prometheus. By default, it published the matrix here and the default name is default okay so let's suppose that you want to check the matrix okay so by default the path is prometheus as we have seen that so here you need to type here right and you can see all those matrix are coming here after installing the prometheus guys this package is actually a node exporter so those who doesn't know about the node exporter let me give you one example and let me tell you uh, let me brief you on this. So node exporter is uh, one of the packet that actually extract all the matrix from the particular uh, node and then finally it sends to the Prometheus server. So pro under the Prometheus server, the target is defined by the node exporter, which ultimately pulls the matrix and publish the matrix under the slash matrix, which is a by default path. Okay, so those who doesn't know how to install the Prometheus or how to install the Grafana, this is my channel guys, the learning destination. So you can go and watch this, how to install Prometheus server on CentOS Linux. And here you can see the Grafana as well. So uh, this is one of the playlist called monitoring tool. So if you go to this playlist, okay. 
So there is already two videos is there how to install the Grafana and how to install the Prometheus. So you firstly complete these two sections and then return here. So it will be easy for you to understand all these parts which I am right now explaining you. Okay. So so uh, Jenkins published the data, published the matrix here under the Prometheus. Okay. And this is what the path is defined here. So now we are going to move towards the Prometheus server and we will add this target node inside the Prometheus so Prometheus can pull the data can pull this data inside the Prometheus server okay guys so now I am on Prometheus server this is my Prometheus server and I am going to add it the configurations file of my Prometheus node server okay so uh, I am going to add one more target here okay so I am just copying it and guys you need to be very careful with identifications because this is written in the Ansible YAML actually. Okay, so I'm giving it name here. Jenkins exporter. I think Jenkins exporter is okay. No need to give send to us. It looks more suitable. And then I need to change the address. The address is this one. And then since it is running on 8080, let me show you. So this is overall the path we are fetching the data, right? So this is the address which I am defining here as of now, okay? And one more things, guys. Guys, those who doesn't know about it, the Prometheus by default publish the matrix under the under the matrix name space, okay? So if I if I do not define here this particular matrix path. If I do not define here the matrix path, what it will happen? Let me show you. Okay. So let me start it. Let me restart once again. System CTL restart from me. Yes. Okay. As of now, I haven't defined the matrix path inside the Prometheus YAML file. And now let's check that in such case how it reacts. Okay. So let's check status. Let's log in into the Prometheus server here. My Prometheus server is running on port number, uh, I guess 9090. Okay. So I log in inside the Prometheus server. Now come a status and the target. Come on the target. Now you see that by default it has taken the path matrix and which is down because this the matrix is listening under the Prometheus, right? The matrix is listening under the Prometheus. Let me show you. And it is searching on the path matrix because I haven't defined the path under this particular configuration file. That's why it is taking by default path matrix. So in order to uh, define the customized path, we need to define the exact path, which is Prometheus, right? So I have gone through the official website of Prometheus, then I find this particular uh, options and that we need to mention here. So after mentioning it, then it will take the correct path. So whenever we want to mention the customized path, we need to use this option inside the Prometheus configuration file and our path is Prometheus. Okay. Now save it and restart it once again. So it is restarted. Take the status. Okay, it is running and let's check here, refresh it. So now you can see that it is successfully the conditions, the state is up. Okay, earlier it was down. Now if you click here, right, it is correctly referring the same address where the uh, Prometheus is publishing the data for the Jenkins. Okay. So now we can simply query everything if we come on the alert sections, the graph sections, right? And we can simply select all those queries from here. Let's suppose that we will see default Jenkins build last build result and execute the query. So we can see all those queries, right? The automation job, dialog flow job, Docker automations, Docker slab, slab testing, testing Docker. And these are the basically the jobs which is listed here, right? So in such a way, we can see that the data is successfully coming under the Prometheus and Prometheus server is successfully pulling the matrix from this Jenkins node 
from this Jenkins node into the Prometheus. So now in next sessions, I'm going to show you that how you can publish this data into the Grafana that will be look more good and more convenient. Okay guys, so now I'm going to log into my Grafana server and which is running on 3000 port number. So this is the draft, uh, Grafana dashboard. Okay, so here you go to explore. Guys, one more thing. I have already added the data source. It means that I have already my Prometheus server, this one inside the Grafana. Okay, so those who doesn't know, uh, they have to wait, uh, they have to go through this particular, uh, let me show you. So you have to watch this tutorial, how to install Prometheus server on CentOS Linux. Then you will get that, how I have integrated the Prometheus server inside my Grafana, okay? So I have already added it. So I need to go to explore sections, right? And here explore, I need to run the query. So query section is already there, okay? So let me run the same query, default Jenkins, and I can go here, default Jenkins build result. Okay, and then I need to say execute run query. So here we can see all the status of our Jenkins job. So in such a way, there are various metrics that uh, you can run the queries and you can check one by one. So you just go ahead and play with all those options. So there are various options is provided by the Prometheus. So you can play with all these options as well. So guys, this is the overall process that how you can uh, install the Prometheus inside the Jenkins and where the Prometheus is publishing the matrix for the Jenkins. And after that, how you can uh, integrate your Jenkins inside the Prometheus server. Okay. And then finally, how you can publish the data inside the graph now for better visualization. So this is all over the process, which I wanted to show you. I hope your concept is pretty much clear now. And definitely you will do yourself practice on this. Okay, guys. So that's all for the day. And now I know that how you are feeling from inside, you know, yes, I know it. I'm knowing it now, right? So you can easily integrate your Jenkins server with the Prometheus and the Grafana. And if you face while doing it, if you face any challenges, write me in the comment sections and I will help you there. Guys, stay tuned with the learning destinations for more upcoming lectures and I will see you in my next tutorial. That's all for the day. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Share my channel with your friends and the colleague as well. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, stay happy, be happy. Thank you so much for watching it.